box When I'm turned up, it go down You know how I get, you know how I get You know I'm legit, you know I'm legit You know I be lit, you know I be lit And I'm on a mission to hit every city When you see me, get with me, it's lit Lit Box TV it's lit. Welcome to Lit Box TV. I'm Lord I Kim, and today we're gonna to talk about relationships. Um, I got this um analogy that I came up with, um, where um I use I, I kind of equate a relationship a, a relationship to like a bus, and I use a bus because a bus is is supposed to take you somewhere. You know, when you get on the bus, you you you, you intend to have that bus take you somewhere and if you're a bus driver right then that bus has a route and you and you have to stick to that route in order to get the people to where they're going and yourself to where you're going right so the question i'm gonna ask in this thing is fellas are you on the right bus and ladies is your bus on the right route okay and let me explain what i mean they say experience is the best teacher I'm teaching y'all based on my experience and and how I view things during and after certain relationships because I'm the type when I break up with someone I don't just sit there and be like oh it's her fault it's her fault I try to see what I did <clears throat> to cause certain things or what I could have done to prevent certain things so this is what this video is really about it's just going to teach y'all how to analyze your relationships better and make better decisions along the way first i'm going to point out a problem that i see in a lot of relationships and then i'm going to offer up a solution okay now in this scenario i'm going to give the woman is the bus driver and the man is the passenger okay and i do this the reason the woman is the driver and the man is the passenger because i believe in relationships men and female relationships it's always the woman who choose the man okay I just believe that I don't believe dudes choose women I believe women choose men because if you take a beautiful woman and you put her in an environment you might have 20 30 dudes coming up to her if she if you're the 17th dude that came up to her and she exchanged numbers with you then that means she rejected the other 29 people okay so she kind of let you in she gave you an opportunity that she didn't give the other 29 people so therefore she chose to allow you to be a part of her life she didn't give the other 29 people an opportunity so this is why i say she chose you out of all the people she chose you so uh it's be dudes talking about they bagged the chick i used to think like that but no these women are out here bagging us they're picking us up whether we want to believe it or not now on a business relationship let me just put this out there on a business relationship a man can be the driver like if two men are doing business someone has to be the driver someone has to be the passenger but in a personal relationship between a male and a female i believe the woman is always the driver of the bus okay and that bus is supposed to take the relationship certain places but the female is the driver and the man is the passenger so now we're going we're going to get into it right a dude is at a bus depot and at this bus depot, it's a whole bunch of buses that, that, that stop there and then they leave and every bus goes to its own different destination. Some of them, you know, go the same way for a minute and then they detour, one go left and then one go right and one keep going straight. But this bus depot is where they all take off from, right? So this dude is at the bus depot and the bus pull up and he's like, you know, meanwhile, this dude, let's be clear. In this analogy, this dude, he has no plan, okay? So I'm going to show you, most, mo most, most of you women are allowing men on your bus that don't even have a plan, okay? He's just at the bus stop. He's just looking to joy ride. He's not even really trying to take the long ride. He's just looking for a quick ride on somebody's bus. But anyway, the doors open up. He see a fat chick. She's not that attractive. He's like, ah, I'm not getting on that bus. I don't really like fat chicks. And then he see uh, this this uh, short, skinny chain. Ah, I don't really like short, uh, skinny chicks. And ah, I'm not getting on that bus. And another bus pull up. He sees a beautiful woman. Doors open up. He's kind of good looking himself. She looks. She says, well, come on the bus. You know. Uh, and he gets on the bus. And she goes, uh. Where you going? He goes, wherever you want me to go. 
And she go, oh, you're so funny. Oh, and then she just let him on the bus and then the bus go. But the bus has a route, okay? Before that man got on the bus, the bus had a route, okay? The woman knew where she wanted to take this bus, okay? So now this man is on the bus and the bus taking off and they're having a good time. They talking and they, and they getting to know each other and everything is fine and they're having a, just a great time on this bus and then Somewhere down the road, the bus is supposed to make a right, and the dude says, you know what? What if we make this left over here? Now, this is what happens to so many females who, who be on their who, who be on their goals, who be following their goals and living on their route. They allow someone to come into their life and detour them and make them reroute. So now this dude is like, hey, how about we make a left over here and, and then you make the left and and then once you make the left, you start feeling uncomfortable because you know you, you're not on your route anymore. And you're like, damn, what's happening to me? And you're losing yourself all in just trying to please this man. You're getting off your route just so you can please this man. So now you get off your route, which makes you feel uncomfortable in the first place. And now things just start to go. One thing leads to another. And now y'all arguing and y'all fighting. And you like, nah, I want to go back this way. And he like, nah, but I, I, I want to give it a shot this way first. And so now y'all arguing, y'all can't get along. And... The thing is, see, this is where, where, where most women make a mistake. They expect in a bad relationship for the man to leave. And that's like having a passenger on your bus, okay? That's, that's not helping, right? That's, not, that's not, not beneficial to the bus. You, you, wouldn't, you wouldn't tell him to leave if he wanted to, you would kick him off the bus, right? So, but women don't do that. They, they, the, the man, they go through whatever they go through. The man gets upset and he's like, yo, back door, back door. I want to get off this bus. Now you want to get off the bus. Okay. And now the woman is like, instead of just opening the back door and letting him off the bus, like she knows she should because she should have never been on the bus in the first place. Okay. What most women do is they say, no, I'm not opening the back door. I'm not, I'm not letting you out that easy. Okay, I'm not, I'm, which is really just hurting themselves. Okay, but they say, no, I'm not letting you out that easy. I'm not opening the back door. You, you, you want to get off this bus? You got to confront me face to face because we need to talk face to face, and then you can get off the front. You can go out the front door, and, and this is what they do. And then it just turns into turmoil, you and a bunch of pettiness, and and there's one minute she telling him to get off the bus, and then one minute she not trying to let him off the bus, and, and it just, it's just it's all crazy, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So, neither one of them have any idea where they, were, uh, uh, where they were going, or for one reason or another, decided to deviate from the original route, okay? So, the dude probably had no idea where he's going, he's just a joyrider, he just like jumping from bus to bus. He got no real goals and no real ambition. He, he, he ain't have no real destination anyway. He just wanted to really ride a bus, okay? So the problem is women are just allowing men that don't even belong on a bus on a bus. And then men are just getting on the bus just because it's a pretty face and a, and a, and a nice ass. She got a nice ass. She got a pretty face. I'm getting on the bus. Okay, and you have no idea where that bus is going. You don't even know if that bus is going in the direction you want to go in. Okay, but just because she looks nice and she talk a good one, you on the bus. Okay, and just because he look nice and talk a good one, you allowed him on the bus. Okay, and some dudes are lying and act like they, they trying to go where you want to go just to get on your bus. But the minute you realize that that dude, hey, he ain't trying to go. He trying to make me make a left. The minute that dude say make a left and you know you're supposed to go right, you're supposed to tell him, this is the last stop for you. You got to get off this bus. But we don't do that. We, we make excuses and then some woman take a left and then you want to blame the dude for, for messing up your life because he suggested you take a left and you took the left and now you blamed him because you didn't stay on your route. Okay? And you knew you could lose everything you worked on just by detouring, but you still detoured anyway. Okay? So now that's what's happening. But this is what should happen. A man is at the bus stop, right? The door is open. The first thing the bus driver should say is, where, you, where are you trying to go? She should find out before she lets someone on the bus where you're trying to go to make sure he's trying to go where you, 
where the bus is going. So it'll be a smoother ride, okay? And then the guy, he has to come and say, excuse me, does this bus go to Successville? Because that bus might be going to Dramaville. You understand? You might be heading to Successville, Entrepreneurshipville, but not down uh, Baby Mama Drama, Baby Daddy Dramaville. You, you're not trying to go down that, 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 that path. You understand? So it's kind of like we need to talk to each other and find out where we're going before we start to just take rides with each other. Okay? And too many people, you know, you just they just be assuming, you know, that you're going the same way because y'all have these lengthy conversations about a bunch of nothing. People talk about everything else but what they're doing. They'll talk about what this couple doing, what that couple's doing, what they seeing on there, but let me really talk about what are we doing? What are we doing with this relationship of ours and how is it going to benefit us? How? Because me, I'm quick to, listen, back door, I'm quick to jump off a bus. I'm so fast to jump off a bus because I got goals and I'm going somewhere and I'm very straightforward. When I approach women, when I when I'm at the bus stop, when that bus pull up, i my first question: is, Hey, where, where's this bus going? Is this does this bus go over there? Because and some people be like, Yo, why are you asking so many asking so many questions? Those people are just trying to trick you. People who respect your journey are going to respect your questions. People who ask questions, it's because they want to know. They want to make educated decisions. Okay, so if someone's questioning you about you. It's because they take themselves serious and want to know and, or have a great uh, kind of good idea of who you are before they really deal with you, okay? So people who value themselves are going to ask, ask you questions like, yo, what are your plans in life? What, what, are, you, what are you doing? Where are you going? Ladies, let me, let me talk to the ladies first. Ladies, when... You allow these men to take a ride in your life that don't deserve to be on your bus, then there's a good chance you're going to get rerouted. And you're just, you might not make it to your, your final destination. And, and remember, this, this, is, this, this bus ride, this is a long bus ride. Okay, so in this different type of buses, like the bus ride I'm looking for may be like, you know, like a, like a, a I'm, I'm looking for a tour bus. You understand? There's different type of buses. There's Greyhound buses and then there's the city bus and then I'm looking for a tour bus. I'm trying to see the world. I'm trying to move around. So I need a woman that understands that. I'm not trying to sit here. I'm not trying. I'm trying to see a lot. Okay, so I need a woman that, that drives a tour bus. That's ready to take me on tour. That understands that uh, I'm the star on this bus. Okay? Like, yeah, you you may be the driver. You're going to help me get to where I'm going. But I'm the star on this bus. And you got a star on this bus. And you need to respect that. Okay? I'm just not a regular passenger on a regular bus. Okay? This is a tour bus. And this is a tour bus is because it's a star on this tour bus. Okay? And yes, I can't get to where I need without this tour bus. Okay? But... This tour bus wouldn't be a tour bus if, 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 if there wasn't a star on it. You understand what I'm saying? So it's kind of like, that's what I'm looking for. There's, there's, there's short rides and there's long rides. There's relationships that last a long time. And then there's relationships that last a very short time. Like, for instance, the singer Charlie Wilson, right? To me, he's going to be touring for the rest of his life. He's been touring for how, for how long now? Okay, and he's still touring. Okay, so he needs someone in his life who understands that and don't try to stop that and compete with that because this is his life. Okay, so he don't need a, a city bus driver, a woman with a city bus driving mentality she, because she she gonna drive the, for two hours and be like, oh, I'm tired, I can't do this no more. What you mean? We on tour, baby. We got another five hours till we hit the next city. It's a tour bus. This ain't a city bus. You know, we ain't going, we, we, we might drive five hours before we stop one time. Okay, this is a different type of ride here. This ain't no stop at every three blocks, you know, to see if we want to kick somebody off or let somebody on. This is the long, this is the, this is the long haul. 
You understand? So that's what I'm looking for. I'm looking for the tour bus. You know, that's the only thing I'm concerned with. But ladies, it's like when you let these men on your bus, you have to question them. You have to ask questions. What's the plan? Ask the man what's the plan. Because if you fail to if you fail to plan, then you plan to fail. A man without a plan for himself definitely don't have a plan for you or the family. Okay? So when you when them doors open up and you see that handsome man. You gotta say, okay, he looked good and everything, but I'm on, a, I'm, I'm, I'm on my way somewhere. And before I let this man on the bus, I gotta make sure that he is in support of the route I'm taking, and I gotta make sure that the route he's trying to take is also the route I'm taking. And that, and and that, and that leads me to another video I'm gonna do after this. It's, it's, it's about uh. Internal people and external people, you know, introverts and extroverts is, is the difference between uh, There's some people who care more about how things look than how they really are And then there's some people who care more about how things are than how they look You understand? There's some women who don't care if if it looks like they they man don't treat them good as long as he really treat them good And then there's some women who, who, who don't care like if <laughs> It's like I don't care how it looks You know and, and and then there's women. If there's women like you could you could cheat on them, and as long as you're giving them materialistic things, they don't really care, you know. But that's another video. Think about this, fellas. When you're getting on a woman's bus, right? You gotta understand that it takes a lot to maintain a bus here. This is not just a but. We talking about a bus here. It takes a lot to maintain a bus. Bus eat up a lot of gas. Bus needs to be serviced. Okay. And and so when you get on this bus, if you're not if you're not ready to main help maintain that bus along the ride, that bus that's actually helping you get to your destination, then what are you on the bus for? What are you on the bus for? What'd you even get on the bus for? And fellas have to stop getting on these bus on, on these buses without destinations. Like you just meeting up with a woman, you go to a club, you just meet up with a woman and you hang out and you connect and like, what are you connecting for? Like, what is, what is the plan? To just ride the bus? To get some cheeks? Like, to have some sex? That's it? You just want to be on a bus? You, you ain't trying to go nowhere on this bus? You're not, you're not trying to do nothing with this bus? Like, you just want to ride. And then when you get tired of the ride, you just want to jump on another bus. And then jump jump from bus to bus, and then you wonder why you out here lost. You understand what I'm saying? You like, how did I get here? Like, how'd you get here? Like, what am I doing over here? You was just over there, and now you over here. And that you was just over here, and now you over there. Like, because you lost. Because you're jumping from bus to bus with no real destination. You're just on the bus because the driver looks beautiful. You just, or some people, some dudes will get on the bus just because they need it. They need to use you. They're trying to use you to get to the, ne the, the next few stops. They don't really have a destination. They're just trying to make it to, to the next to next week. So they, need to, they just need you to drive them into next week or drive them into next month because they have no idea what they're going to be doing five years from now because they ain't playing that far. You understand? So they just, they just joyriding. The, the, the fact of the matter is, it's a shame, but a lot of dudes out here are joyriding. And... A lot of women are allowing them to joyride, okay? Y'all allowing it, but then you want to blame men for being no good, you know? Like, it's, it's the same thing. Like, you, you, you know this dude, it, all he's about is hopping on the bus. And some of these buses, he, he, hopped, he just hopped in the back door. Like, the chick ain't even like, oh, shit, where you come from, nigga? Like, like how the fuck you get on the bus? Niggas done creep their way in on your bus and now you like, oh shit, now you in a relationship with a nigga you ain't even want to be in a relationship with just because he was so aggressive with it. You know what I'm saying? He came hard. He was chasing it. You know what I'm saying? So now you 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 all caught up with him, you know, and but the truth of the matter is you don't want him on the bus. But see, this is the good thing about a bus, ladies. Buses hold more than one person. And see, that's what we that's what men are starting to realize. Nowadays, see, because back in the days, a lady would put one man on the bus at a time. Now, you might be on the bus with seven dudes. 
<laughs> like four dudes. You might really be on the bus with three different dudes. Four different dudes. And don't even know. And some women, I shout out to the women who let the dudes know, look, hey, get in the back of the bus. Or there's other dudes on this bus. So you're going to take this ride or not? Because other dudes on this bus with you. You understand? Like, I'm the type. I'm not trying to ride. Uh, I'm not trying to ride on a bus full of dudes. I'm not. I pass up on women like that all the time. Like, once I look at a woman and go, yeah, yeah, her bus is full. Like, I'm not just trying to be another passenger on your bus, miss. I'm, like I said, I, I'm looking for the tour bus. I need to be the star on the bus. You understand? I'm not trying to ride the, the, the city bus with the rest of these thirsty dudes. You know, who just trying to court you for your attention. Like, I'm not trying to do that. You know? I'm I'm looking for the, the bus driver that say, you know what? This is the only passenger I need. Everybody get off the bus. Everybody else get off the bus. You understand? Because and and because because I'm the type of man that if I'm on that bus, I'm on that bus. And I'm not going I'm not gonna be on the bus and looking at other buses like, damn, man, I wonder where that bus is going. Damn, oh that's a nice that's a nice Greyhound bus. Ooh, Peter Pan really stepped up their game. Like, that's not me. I'm just on my bus, and I'm worried about where me and my bus is going, where, I, where the bus I'm on is going, okay? Because I got a plan. You understand what I'm saying? So we got to just really understand that when we allow people in our lives with no, that have no real purpose and that don't support our purpose, we're doing ourselves a real disservice, okay? Ladies, you know what you want in life. You know the type of man you want. You know the type of man you desire and you need. When that man, when a man approaches and he's not that man, you have to find the courage to say, you know what, I'm going to continue to ride, to drive this bus alone. But so many of y'all just be wanting a passenger on a goddamn bus that y'all just let any man into your life just to say, I got a passenger. Look at me. Look at me. I'm driving and I got me this handsome passenger and we going nowhere fast. I don't even know where he going. I done lost track of where I'm going. Okay? But I got me a passenger and he fine. That's how ladies really be. Like, and think, and be really worried about kicking that dude off the bus, worried about whatever bus gonna pick that dude up when you kick him off the bus. Like, nah, get off the, just kick him off the bus. Don't worry, don't worry about if he gonna get on another bus. Like, I'm the type, man, listen, when I get off your bus, I don't care who's on that bus. I really don't. Because I'm either walking or, 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 or waiting for another bus. Or, or, or on another bus. So I don't really care what's going on with that other bus. You understand? And women, y'all need to stop worrying about these no good passengers. They ain't even pay their fare. They didn't even help maintain the bus. They, 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 they didn't even contribute to the journey, really. And, and, and you find out, why is it so hard for you to just kick them off the bus? Kick them off the bus. Trust me. Kick them off the bus. Because what's going to happen is you're going to continue on your journey, okay? And you're going to continue on your journey, and then you're going to stop at a bus stop, and it's going to be the man that you really need on that bus there. As long as you got that dude that don't belong on your bus riding, and you don't have the courage to kick him off, okay? Then I'm going to tell you what happens. You got this bum in the back of the bus. You pull up to the bus stop. You see a handsome man that's really about what you're about, and you like, damn, wow. But now you're worried about the dude, the dude in the back of the bus feelings. You're worried about how he's gonna feel and how it's gonna look because y'all been riding for seven years now and all that. I don't get caught in the stuff like that. I'm I'm not gonna lie, I don't really get caught in the stuff. I don't care if it's 13, 14 years. The minute I realize that this bus is not going where I, I thought it was going, uh, back door. Back door, I'm, I'm, I'm off this bus. Oh, no, you don't want me back door? All right, then I'll walk to the front and tell you, open that door, I'm off this bus. I'm off this bus. And, and, and women that I know, 
they, I've had women tell me, yo, Lord, how can you just leave so easy? Uh, it's like, because, like, I know where I'm trying to go. And it's clear to see that this this ain't going where I'm trying to go. So why I'm going to keep holding on to it for? For what? Just so somebody else can't ride on your bus? So I'm going to keep, nah, no, no, I'm, I'm off this and I don't care who's on it. Because that, that bus ain't going where I want to go. That bus is going to uh, uh, 9 to 5 Ville. I'm going to Entrepreneurville. Okay? And there's some women who just be like, why don't you get a job? Why don't you get a job? If you're an entrepreneur and you got that entrepreneur spirit, then you need to be on the bus with the woman that, that with the bus that's going to Entrepreneurshipville. Not 9 to 5 Ville. Because that ride is not going to be good for you. All it's going to do is stress you out. Because all you're going to be thinking about is the bus you should have been on. Okay? And, and, and that's just really what it is. You know? Relationships are like a bus. And buses are meant to take you places. Where is your relationship taking you? That man on your bus right now. What is he doing for you? Is he helping maintain the bus? Is he going? Is he... Is, is, is his plan uh, in the direction of where your bus is going? Do, do y'all kind of want the same thing? Do he respect your, your journey? Do he respect the steps you're taking to better your life and to reach your goals? If he don't, then he don't need to be on the bus. You don't need no dude. You see... Ladies, you need a man on that bus that's going to support you along your journey. And what, see, he gives you support along your journey, helps you maintain your bus, okay? And for that, you help him get to his destination, okay? And that's how we work together and, 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 and just live a better life. Because I'm going to help you along your journey and you're going to help me get to where I'm going. How could we lose? How could we lose like that? So next time you meet a dude, okay, ladies, ask him, where you going? Trust me. The dudes who just want to joyride, they're not going to have a real answer for that. What do you mean? I'm saying I'm just trying to do my thing. I'm just trying to maintain. I'm just trying, you know, I'm trying to come up out here. You know what I'm saying? I'm just trying to stay above water. I'm just trying to, you know, get it how I live. I'm just, they're going to say a lot of blank shit that just don't really add up to nothing. You know? What's the plan? Yeah, I'm, yeah, I'm trying to get to it. Yeah, all right, but what's the plan? When you ask a man with a plan, a plan he can't wait to tell you. Oh, I'm gonna go here, and when I get there, and then we gonna get there, and yeah, when yeah, and so that's all I'm saying. I hope this helped y'all. Um, definitely talk to your children. I talk to my my daughter all the time about who she allow on the bus, and I talk to my son all the time about just running around jumping on these buses. And I'm, I'm, I'm not going to lie. Well, my daughter, she's not dating, but my son, he dates. And it's like, I'm proud of him. I'm proud that, you know, you know, because it's just me and my son. We live together. And he don't be having a bunch of buses pulling up at the crib. I can tell you that. So I respect him because when I was 19, whew, I lived at the bus depot. <laughs> you understand what I'm saying? Like, when I was 19, you couldn't tell me nothing. You know, well, actually, when 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 I was 19, I was in. I came home from jail when I was 19. So, you know, like, forget about it. I felt like I had to die. Man, listen, as soon as I got out of jail, I went to I was at the bus depot like this. I'm trying to ride some buses. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So I'm just glad that I was able to, like, make sure my son wasn't just, you no, know, you know, young dude running around just trying to jump on everybody bus you know because he get to focus on himself and he get to really put his plan together so when he find that bus to jump on you know that it's 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 the right bus i'm teaching him how to jump on the right bus 
That's what you got to do. If you got sons, you got to teach them how to jump on the right bus and not to just get on any bus. And if you got daughters, you got to teach them how not to just let, allow anyone on their bus. And the problems, a problem, a lot of problems occur when you got, you see, you got these dudes that are come in and try to be the driver. You know, or you got these women that's supposed to be the driver that's that's that want to sit back and play passenger. Like, no, baby, you you're not a passenger. You the driver, and I'm not the driver. I'm a passenger. You understand? So we got to know our roles. You know, I was I was you know, I was looking. I've always been looking for the driver, but I've been running into women that just want to sit back and be the passenger. They just want to sit back and be taken care of. They want you to drive the bus. And maintain the bus. They want you to do everything. And why they just sit back and, and just enjoy the ride. And it don't really work like that. It may work like that with some manipulative dude who's just trying to control you with his money and his resources. But I'm not one of them dudes. I need you to actually contribute to this journey called life. Okay? Because it's a never-ending ride. The ride never stops. It's just, it, it's just, are you on the bus or... Are you not on the bus? Do you have a passenger or do you not have a passenger? But the journey never ends. It's Letty! Oh yeah, we lit, lit box. When I'm turned up, it go down. You know how I get, you know how I get. You know I'm legit, you know I'm legit. You know I be lit, you know I be lit. And I'm on a mission to hit every city. When you see me, get with me, it's Letty! Lit box TV. It's lit!